السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا مرة أخرى في فيديو جديد تحية للطلاب طالبات مساق علم الأدوية والمشاهدين الكرام في هذا الفيديو حنستعرض مجموعة من المالتيبل تشوز كويستشنز عن فلوروكوينيلونز اند ميسيلينيوس انتي بكتيريوز ونشوف مع بعض كيف طبيعة الكويستشنز والإجابات الصحيحة لهذه الأسئلة Uh, the first question لهذه المجموعة The patient is prescribed Cibrofloxacin with trade name Cibro and is instructed to take each dose of medication as evenly spaced apart during the day as possible. The nurse recognizes that this instruction is essential because let us see the options. First option, the medication can cause sleep pattern disturbances or pathogenic bacteria have extremely rapid growth and reproduction rates. Third option, super infection may flop if a dose of medication is missed. And the last option, allergic reaction are more likely to occur if a dose is missed. The correct answer for this question is option number two, second option. Because pathogens grow rapidly and are constantly prol proliferating, all antibiotic therapies should be taken around the clock. لما بيتاخد طبيعة الحال حيدي فاعلية ويحافظ على تركيز تماما في الدم ثابت وبالتالي بعمل عملية killing وبكون effective. Uh, very well. Second question. The patient is prescribed of fluxacine, fluxacine for treatment of acute bronchitis. The patient tells the nurse that the experienced an allergic reaction when he took cibrofluxacine previously. As reported by the patient, which of the following bid would be most indicative of an allergic reaction to this drug group. Select all that apply. Let us see there's more than one answer. The first uh, option is headache. Second option is nausea and vomiting. Third option is itching without visible rash. And final option, swallowing of lips or tongue. Uh, and the fifth option, sorry, is nervousness or anxiety. The true answers are option number three, four, and five. Uh, because itching, uh, even without the presence of a rash, may indicate histamine release from drug allergy, swelling of the face, lips, or tongue, known as angioedema. It's also a symptom of uh, allergy. Nervousness or anxiety may indicate an adrenergic response secondary to an allergic reaction and while they may have other causes should be investigated further to rule out of a developing allergic reaction while the other options are false or incorrect. Now the third question, the nurse is instructing a patient on a new prescription for cibrofloxacine and will include which instructions? Select all that apply. Uh, let us see the answers. The first one, increase fluid intake to two, three liters per day, or avoid consuming dairy products or antacids when take the antibiotic. And third option, limit vitamin C intake in both dietary and oral vitamin forms. And fourth option, take the pulp with an antihistamine to avoid adverse effects and the final option coffee or tea without milk cream or coffee lightener is the preferred beverage for taking the antibiotic dose. The true answer is options one and two. Uh, because cibrofluxacine is ex excreted renally and increasing fluid intake will help to prevent drug accumulation uh, in the kidneys, their products and uh, antacid taken concurrently may inhibit 
the absorption of ciprofloxacin, while the other options are incorrect. Question number four. A patient has been receiving levofloxacin, levoquine, IV intravenously for septicemia for two weeks and will be given the drug orally at home. Which discharge instruction would be most appropriate for the nurse to give this patient? The first option report any unusual joint or tendon pain or difficulty with movement or walking. Second option, take a daily multivitamin supplement with the levofloxacin. Third option, exposure to direct sunlight will help increase absorption of vitamin D, which is impaired by this medication. And the last option, limit fluid intake to less 1,500 ml per day. The correct answer is the first option because fluoroquinolones such as levofloxacin have been associated with tendonitis and tendon rupture, especially in the patient over age 65. Any unusual joint or tendon pain or difficulty moving or walking should be reported to the provider, while the other options are incorrect. Let us see the question number five. A patient has been given a prescription for ciprofloxacin. The nurse checks the patient history because this drug would should be used used cautiously, cautiously, or is contraindicated in patients with what condition? The first option is a history of anxiety or disorder and nervousness. Or patients over the age of 65. Third option, a history of penicillin allergy. And the fourth option, patients with myasthenia graphis. This, the best answer is the option number four. Because of fluoroquinolone such as ciprofloxacin may cause a profound muscle weakness in patients with myasthenia graphis, while options one, two, and three are incorrect. The last option is number six. Which of the most important goal of nursing care for patients receiving polymyxine B ointment as a laceration? The options are the first one, promote wound healing. Second option, sterilize the skin and mucous membrane. And the third option, prevent allergic reaction and the final option and the last maximize pain uh, relief. Please uh, comment your answer and I will be happy to see your answers in the comments. Uh, the last but not least, thanks for watching and see you in a new video in the next days. Thank you very much.